don't stay in bed, make shortbread. We're going to make solstice shortbread, which is essentially a shortbread with crystallized ginger in it, which is rather lovely. And it's in a circle representing the earth turning around, coming back towards the sun. And people would light fires and have big parties, you know, suspiciously on the 21st. Hmm, seems to coincide with some other holidays. Uh, big festivals about the world renewing itself and basically having a nice piece of shortbread with perhaps a small cocktail of your choice. Let's make shortbread. We're gonna use some crystallized ginger. So put that in your food processor with about, a, about around a cup of your, your flour. This is smart. They want you to process this with flour because it coats it. Smart. King Arthur flour. Lori and Kilmartin and uh, my assistant stage manager and her husband, Robert, I already an actor, gave me um, these old gourmet magazines. And in the gourmet magazines was the first time they had Cuisinart commercials. That's pretty finely minced. I would say that was lovely. Almost like a stem ginger flower. Very nice. You know that that Walker's or whatever that shortbread is, is really good. The one you buy in the store, it's good quality. The other thing I would suggest is eat a Cheez-It someday and pretend you're in a fancy restaurant. A Cheez-It is a miraculous thing. It's, it's absolutely superb. High, high level snack. I have two eights that I prepped using the indomitable Everbank. This is not really soft enough, but we're gonna make it soft enough, said the actress to the bishop. I'm forcing this to soften. And I'm gonna add uh, some sugar, uh, three quarters of a cup, some salt. Think about shortbread. You want it to be a little bit salty. Salt. Hi, Lola. Vanilla paste. Oh, yeah. The greatest ingredient on planet Earth. It was a little too much, but it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna spin this, turn it, Swish it around, move it, shake it, spin it all around town. Move it, shake it, spin it now. Do, 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 move it, shake it, spin it around. This is our um, crystallized ginger, don't you know? We're going to add it to the, ooh, that smells divine. You know, and if you didn't put the flour in here, it would turn into like a sticky butter. It's very smart. King Arthur, someday we're gonna come up there and visit you guys. Putting this in. I'm combining that. And now they want me to put the rest of this uh, flour in. Oh, it's pretty wet actually. Eights. So what I did this, I already messed with this one, obviously. What I did was I just kind of divided it into two relatively similar sizes. What they want you to use is something called a pastry roller, which smooths the top. We're gonna improvise. I just used a, um, a round on top. And I, I just went like this. And guess what happened? It smoothed out. So this is also assisting me in even thickness also, because I can feel the whole surface right now. Okay, I'm just gonna smooth those little guys. Then uh, traditionally it's gonna puff up a little bit, so we're gonna make a design with a fork. Traditionally it's a cross like this with, you know, you've seen it. All right, so we're just gonna try to do that. <laughs> Country style. Then we're gonna go like this. Beep, 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 beep. Aww. How cute is that? Let's take it to the stage. Take it as red. You're going to have shortbread. Let's put it in the oven. We're gonna put in our two beautiful shortbreads. 
This is a great thing to have in your house for those beautiful, special drop bys. It's the only time of year when the pop-in is okay. And, and you know what, it's really great. With this, it's so wonderful with a little glass of Vincento or even sherry or coffee or tea, but serve this with a lovely little drink for your friend and just look in their face and tell them you love them. Shortbread. You wanna get these kinda out of here if you can. We left these a tiny bit, but they should be fine. It's quite fragile and delicato. Oh, shortbread. Now, you can serve this like this and have your friends cut it, or you can cut a slice, which I'm gonna do because I'm kinda interested to try this. Ooh, crunchy and yummy. Oh, yeah. Mmm. I mean, that's really good. The ginger is fainter. I might put in more ginger next time. It leaves a lovely sort of heat. Christmassy niceness. Another beautiful thing to do on Christmas Eve, which is a few days after the solstice. You light a candle called the Yule candle and you leave it burning overnight. Now this is what I would suggest. Use a hurricane and put this in your sink. So if anything should happen, it's just in the sink. Nothing's gonna happen, okay? Uh, this was done for good luck to light the way for the rest of the year. And you light your beautiful candle and just before you go upstairs or into your room and you set it like that and you put it in a safe place in a sink or someplace that's not gonna burn your house down. And then you come down in the morning and the, the beautiful candle is still burning, signaling a light into your new year, which is what winter is about. So light a Yule candle, have a slice of solstice shortbread and celebrate this short period of darkness that leads to light, winter. Move it, shake it, spin it now. Do, 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 move it, shake it, spin it around.